tricky to find wreaths that match your style and your holiday color scheme and in the size that you need. So no matter what your style is, you can actually make your own. Sarah's going to show us how easy it is. And there are all different varieties of DIY wreaths that you can do for inside or outside. Absolutely. Whatever you need. For sure. Exactly. And I've got kind of all different levels on the wall behind us here too. So this first gold wreath is for, I call the lazy DIYer. Oh, that's so me. If you want to put up something in your home that you can say you created, but without a lot of effort, this yes. one is for you. Okay. So if you have an older wreath sitting around your house that's maybe seen better days, maybe looking a little bit faded if it's been outside in the sunlight, mm -hmm. or you see an inexpensive one at the store that maybe when it's green, the greenery looks a little bit too fake. Right. Just take it home or dig it out of your basement and give it a good coat of gold spray paint. Ah. And it gives it completely new life. Yes. And you can say you made it. Yes, you can. <laughs> right? I DIY yeah. that. And then you can customize it with um, a bow. You can add some pine cones. There's lots of different elements that you can add to it to um, take it even to the next level. And I'm mm -hmm. going to show you how to tie the perfect bow in a minute. Okay. The but second next, one's pretty. Well, yeah, I, I love um, a greenery wreath. And of course, you can go to stores and you can buy these or you can buy fresh greenery. Yeah. They tend to be really expensive. Um, especially the faux ones I find, you mm -hmm. can do them a lot less expensive if you do it on your own. And you can customize the size, the color. Again, it will last year to year, but you could take those flowers off and add red next year if you change your color scheme yes. or add a yellow, whatever you're into, right? So it's something that can grow with you when your taste changes. And I think that's nice as well because there are a lot of people that want to wreath all year round. It's I nice do. if it doesn't scream holiday, right. so you can use that all the time. Exactly. Like this one. I mean, this is so cute. It's this whimsical. Is fun. Honestly, if you go for a search online for modern wreaths, you're going to find embroidery hoop wreaths everywhere right now. They're very on trend. Yeah. So again, just a little bit of greenery there that's flocked with the white snow. And then I added styrofoam balls to look like Christmas ornaments Cute. to the bottom in really bright, fun colors. But I could see those just all painted gold or all painted black yes. for an even more modern, kind of more sophisticated version as well. Right. Yeah. Okay. So let's, uh, why don't you show us how to build some of these wreaths? Okay. So the spray paint one, I don't think I need to demo that for you guys. We get it. <laughs> so uh, for the greenery wreath, you want a really good um, base for it, right? Yeah. I like using this because there's lots of places to tuck your greenery in as well. Mm -hmm. Start with a large greenery style first. So I went with magnolia leaves here and you're just going to set them. I always lay out my design before I do any tying down of anything. So you're going to want to lay them. First of all, you'll know if you have enough or not. You'll know uh, if you like the look of it. You lay them around and then Again, this floral wire is going to be your best friend. You're going to tie it in place at the top somewhere. Find, find a branch at the top yeah. and at the bottom. So you're securing it in two places so it's really sturdy, especially if you're keeping it outside. Okay. Then you want to add the smaller elements like the flowers and the other greenery. And the cool thing about a lot of these is when you buy them, they come in a big bunch, mm -hmm. but they just pop off. Are those all faux? Yeah. Oh, and you just pop them off like that. Yes. And then you can stick them in wherever you need them to fill the exactly. space. Exactly. And when you're using the smaller elements to embellish it, you're going to want to use a glue gun to add those on just to okay. get to make them secure and, uh, and stay in place. And that's it for that one. Lovely. Easy. That's easy. Yeah. Okay, so embroidery hoops. So people are leaving them out there exposed. Mm -hmm. You get more of that, you know, rustic look. Right. Oh, yeah. You're supposed to see them. They're not supposed to be hidden. No, I like that you can see some of the elements of it. I think it makes it look cool. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, again, a little bit of greenery. I tied that on again with a floral wire, but you're going to want to use a glue gun yeah. to just glue that top piece in place, especially if you're using heavier greenery like this. It has a bit of a weight to it. Right. And then I just want to talk to you about the styrofoam balls. When you go to a craft store, and I got everything from here from Michael's, um, there are two types of styrofoam balls you'll see in a craft store. Did you know that? I did not know <laughs> that. So I one didn't. Of the typical one that you're used to seeing styrofoam that's got lots of holes and ridges, very bumpy, yeah. right? And uh, almost a little bit squishy and crumbly. Okay. Don't buy those. Yes. You can get smooth styrofoam balls. Okay. They will paint a lot better. They will look a lot more like ornaments. So you right. want to go with those. Give them two or three coats of paint. Yeah. Um, I like to let them dry on like a, an egg carton or something like that. That's smart. Yeah, dry between coats. Yeah. And then... Again, you're going to want to lay out the look of them a little bit before you attach them onto your wreath. Mm -hmm. But you know you're going to go with your larger ones first. So what I do is I break a toothpick in half and I stick it in to one of the balls. I then do the same thing with the other one, mm. but I take it out, okay, put a little bit of glue on it, mm -hmm. hot glue, and then pop it back in that hole again and that's really going to secure it in place. Oh, I okay? see. Okay, and then you honestly, you just do that with all of the other smaller balls around. Yeah. And a little bit of glue gun, 
break your toothpicks in half, right. and then you can have the arrangement you want. Yep. And then you're going to make sure that these, see how there's this kind of heftier piece of wood on here? Yep. You want the Covered. larger ones to be attached to that. Got it. Yeah. So think like grade six science, you or sixth grade science. Doesn't it kind of feel like right? That a You're bit? doing the solar system. <laughs> Get all the styrofoam balls oh, together. Exactly. And have some fun with that. Okay. So let's talk a little bit about bows okay. because tis the season to be uh, creating the perfect bow. Right. Right. So do you want to show us how you would create a bow? Okay. Sure. Okay. I would do a little bit of this. This is why I don't do bows, guys. Oh, isn't it pretty? Hey, it's a start. It's, it's a, start. a start, but right? I do have a foolproof way. Okay. To try it. Yeah. I, and I want to talk about don't use really. I mean, this ribbon's so beautiful, but see how flimsy it is. Yeah. These will not hold a bow well. Okay. Uh, and honestly, for a perfect bow, if you're going bigger than an inch and a half. Yep. Uh, use wired ribbon. So you're going to do this. You're I'm going to see how fast you can do this because oh, okay, we've got easy. about 30 seconds. Okay. Make, <laughs> make two bunny ears like this. Yeah. Tuck one through the other. Like laces. Pull it. You've oh, I got... thought that's what I did. No. Yours looks so much better. <laughs> Look at that. See? Oh, gosh, you guys. There we it's go. It's the perfect And it's bow. got that perfect center piece that you're yes. looking for. Um, a tip. If you want it to tighten, pull the back yeah. of your bow. Nice. Okay, and it will actually tighten it for you rather than pulling these. So think about this for your wreaths, but also think about this for uh, your gifts. Oh, absolutely. Put it on Use top on of gifts. your gifts. And I know that you are so good for you with your gift wrapping. I love it. I'm sure you put these beautiful <laughs> grow grain ribbons um, and they look absolutely gorgeous. So thanks for that, Sarah.